So we're down at the big protest and we're with Lib Dem, Paul Duffy, how are you Paul? I'm doing good guys, I'm doing good. Nice little turnout for this. Um, this is a, we want a general election right now. It's uh, so well worthy, we're getting lots of support, lots of beeped horns. We've even had a truck go by with a massive beeped horn, so thank you very much for raising my blood pressure. But no, we're, we're all here, it is all the parties, Labour have organised this, so well done Labour. Um, women's Equality, obviously Lib Dems, and this is a cross-party support because we all want a general election because Rishi Sunak, you know, he's the third Prime Minister, you know, second one we've not had a vote on, completely undemocratic, totally undemocratic. And it's time to get a change of course now. Time to get a total generation. So you guys, me, everybody here can have a say on who's running our country and not organised by a few guys in a, in a commons. So we're all here, standing out in the cold, but we're here, we're, we're definitely here. And if there is a general election, will you be running as the Lib Dem MP for Congleton? The, the Lib Dems haven't organised their PPC yet. Um, but, you know, we, we watch and see, wait and see, but we haven't organised, we haven't had our internal election yet. But, um, we, you know, just watch this space and you'll be the first to know, Stuart. Sure. Well, thanks for talking to Congleton Radio, Paul. No problem, no problem. Well, well done. We're still on, we're, we're here for about another three quarters of an hour, so if anyone wants to jump down, um, you're more than welcome to join us. We don't have to free tea and coffee, unfortunately, but it's only three quarters of an hour if you want to, or even just drive by and beep your horn. I'll tell you what, you could have picked a better day for it. <laughs> well, yesterday was freezing. Yesterday would have been worse, to be honest. I almost, at least this is above zero. But, yeah, but that shows you the commitment and how people want a yeah. general election. We want to stand out on a Saturday morning. We, you know, we could all be sat up watching, you know, I don't know, watching Sky Sports in, in, in the morning with a nice cup of coffee. But, no, we've got to, get, we've got to, got to make our voice heard. Oh, thanks a lot, Paul. Much appreciated. So we'll make our way down. See if there's anyone else that wants to talk. Right. What do we want? General election. What do we want? Can you get? Can you guess what they want? They, they want a general election. Oh well, wait. Do you want to talk to Congleton Radio about this protest? Laura, Laura Crane. How are you? Are you going to be run? Are you going to be running? Yeah. As, uh, what do we want? You have no idea whatsoever. Come on, you can. T it doesn't work like that. No. Yeah. 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 No. Well, that's true. I know that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, have we lost connection? Losing connection. Yeah. The Labour Party must have some plans in place, though, in case there's a snap election. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Understandably, you know, you're talking to somebody who's a party in Parliament. So yeah. you've got to have a general election. You've got to have a general election. And you've done well yourself. You've managed to get in like Cheshire East, haven't you? So you must, if it comes to a, an election, you must want to put yourself forward. I think we need a stronger voice in Parliament. Um, I'm not saying that that's me, but I think we definitely need a stronger voice in Parliament. I never see our Conservative representative unless it's to open some minor event somewhere. You know, let's be honest, if it comes down to actually making sure that people don't starve and freeze to death in their beds this year, I haven't heard a peep from the woman. And it is a real crisis. And I'm sure, I mean, with blackouts looming and things like that, how would Labour Party, how would, how would they tackle that if they're in power? Well, we've got the plans in place. We've already talked about the windfall tax that will help to reduce the bills for everybody. We need to put back in place those bankers' bonus caps. That's absolutely absurd, saying that the poorest of the poor might not get an inflation, uh, you know, inflationary meeting uh, increase to their benefits, but bankers can get however many millions and nobody cares. That's wrong, isn't it? But with, with the blackouts that we think could be coming, I think uh, England has only got something like nine days of gas reserve. How would the Labour Party tackle that? Well, they've got plans in place for... Uh, uh, 
a fantastic green infrastructure. That's what we need to be looking at. We need to have renewable energy sources, some that are based on this on this island, that can meet the demands that we need. And we've we've just got to be inventive, and we've got to uh, we've just got to. Okay, let's get in. You'll bring in jobs as well. There's jobs for people. Well paid. Well, those 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 things won't be in place this winter. It would be impossible to do. So how would Labour Party tackle that? We've been looking at what we can do to reduce the use because pricing the people out of the market is not going to change those people who are heating a 17-bedroom mansion. We've got to be looking at those to say, look, we need you to cut your usage. You need to be looking at how you cut down to heating only one room, as some conservative, ex-conservative MPs have been saying. You know, they need to be cutting down on their usage because how do you cut down on your usage when you're just about keeping the lights on? You can't. Yeah. So we're going to carry on. Ready? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? When do we want it? What do we all need? General action. General action. Hey, up, Michael. What do you want? I think we want a general election. And the reason why is because actually we've got a government who, quite frankly, needs to act and, quite frankly, isn't. You know, we've had a disastrous mini budget. It's tanked the pound. We've got the cost of living crisis, the energy crisis, and we're just not seeing the action that we need from government. We're having millions of people who are going to be facing crisis this winter just wondering how the hell they're going to survive all of this. And the stark reality is, without action from the government, it's just not going to happen. We have a plan, I believe, as a Labour Party, that we can provide a better vision, that we can secure energy future, that we can help people save money this winter and also get rid of the scourge of poverty. <laughs> but also, um, you know, that we can provide a better future for people uh, and really solve the cost of living crisis. So what we need is a general election to sweep away this rotten bunch, this bunch that, quite frankly, really aren't doing Doing anything to help ordinary people. I, and I've been talking to, well, Laura and yourself, yeah. you're the two big Labour heavyweights round here, aren't you? Oh, wow. You, you we're both. Uh, photo bond here. Oh, On the is, street, uh, is, is this. I was going <laughs> <laughs> to. We, have we descended into total madness? I feel like I'm on Tiz was. <laughs> so I've been talking to Laura. So, like I said, you two are the two local big heavyweights of Labour. Yes. Uh, it's hard to concentrate on this at this point, but we won't carry on. Uh, both of you are being looked at as potential MPs for Labour round here. If you were to come into power, I know you wouldn't be the leader, obviously, yes. but how would you tackle the looming blackout crisis? How would Labour tackle that? Well, I think we've got to actually secure our energy future. So the one thing is that the Tories haven't done in the past couple of years is actually um, invest in onshore and offshore wind, invest in renewables, tidal, hydrogen solutions. We've got to do that. You know, we're facing climate change, you know, fossil fuels, oil and gas, that's not all going to last forever. So we need to be able to secure our energy future. We need to get less reliant on gas imports uh, because, again, that's one thing that's driving prices up at the moment, the reliance on gas imports. And another thing is we're going to need to invest in nuclear power. We're going to need to into 19 million homes. That's going to save people a lot this winter. We need that energy security and that plan and that that you know that plan to actually implement because you know I think you know we can't go on like this. We can't keep having winters like this and we can't be facing the prospect of blackouts. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, it's almost a you know a, a you know a thing back to the 1970s. I mean, something I was talking to about with Laura. Uh, there's only something like nine days of spare gas supply. So what would the Labour Party do? Yeah. Well, I think we have to take emergency measures. I think we have to, to take that action now. I think, obviously, we have to try and see where we can, of course, get that gas supply. But, the, the, I mean, the big thing is making sure that working people aren't paying for that. So we need to make sure that the oil and gas giants, obviously, are paying for people's bills. Again, we would do that through a windfall tax. Uh, again, on the massively unearned profits that they've all gained through the in, uh, invasion of Ukraine. Nobody should be profiting from, you know, Putin's invasion. Uh, and especially at times when people are going to be suffering. Uh, so, but, you, you know, you look at it and you think we need action now and the government's just sitting there and we just have seen nothing they've gone into hiding what seems like forever during that you know that time when they hit the self-destruct button and had that you know um you know that 
they did actually each other's throats between Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss, and then I, you know, say no more about Liz Truss and her time in government. Uh, and you know, we've had Rishi come in, nobody's voted for him. We're supposed to have all these fresh ideas, how he's going to turn it around. I've seen nothing yet, so you know, I believe our best bet is a general election and you know, a Labour government. Now, Congleton is a very, very safe Conservative seat. Have the Labour Party, the Lib Dems and everybody else uh, thought about standing back and letting an independent run how Martin Bell did years ago? Well, I think that was under different circumstances. So Martin Bell, of course, stood because there was a massive amount of corruption, of course, with Neil Hamilton. And I think it was the right decision then in 1997 to let him stand, as he obviously had announced that he was going to stand on an anti-corruption ticket. Um, but I think here, in, you know, in, the, in the next general election, actually, under the current polling, under the current data, of course, it doesn't take into account local factors. But I believe with the right candidate and a good local campaign, I think you know, this constituency could change. And actually, at the moment, in the current polling, it suggests that Labour could win the next next general election here even in the you know the safest of Tory seats. So you think it would be best that the other parties stepped aside and let Labour run? I don't think it'd be a case of stepping aside because I still think, for example, other parties will add some value to the debate. Um, in terms of actively campaigning, that's obviously up to them. I think Labour is the best place to win the constituency. I think, you know, depending on who's the candidate, I think any candidate from us would be great. Whether that's me or Laura or, you know, we, we might get somebody else as well. Uh, but we're going to fight that. I mean, we're going to need the other parties as well because, of course, there are going to be disgruntled Tory voters who aren't going to vote Tory in the next general election. Um, but they might... Uh, they might switch to us. There will be some, however, who can't feel they can switch to us, but they will need that other uh, party to vote for, either in protest or to believe in. So there is going to be a role for other parties, but I do believe that working together, we can work together locally, but I believe in the next general election, Labour's the best place to win here. But if there was somebody like a Martin Bell type of figure, do you think Labour, the Labour Party would be willing to step aside? Maybe, maybe it would be this guy here that might run that will bring all the parties together? Well, you never know. Uh, well, I, I mean, it all depends whether we do get uh, somebody like that. But, um, you know, there are so many, I think, constituencies where we've had either scandals from the particular MP or we've had, you know, particularly awful voting record from that, 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 that Conservative member. So I think we could get a, a, a few constituencies where that happens. Whether Congleton is one of them, I have no idea. It's a discussion we'd have to have at the time. But at the moment, I think polls say that we would win the next general election and I believe we're the best place to do it. Well, thanks for talking to Congleton Radio, Michael. My pleasure.